Hey guys, what's over here? I'm back with more code for it. Last time. We'll talk about whatever that guy's name is. Gaddy Tech, and then now we're gonna go into the other city. Find the ship. Yeah, it's really To the interesting part of the game. Instead of just kind of wandering towards. are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan.
let the strong box go. Blaster pistols, they're all awful. Give him a rifle instead. What? That's bad. Right there. Um, we'll go explore some. I want to go and get that thingy. I gave you a chunk. Now you'll. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. Well, it just won't happen again, that's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Not 
Me. I don't remember ever saying anything about a traitor. All I mean is that if you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Let's set up. Hold on there. Everything sad happens down here. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Um... Oh, good, it's just so negligible. <laughs> <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Uh, my, name's Lisa. my name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here, and less time dreaming about something I can never have. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Um, I don't really have time. Uh, of course, I'm sorry. You're probably here for something important, right? You probably want to speak to Gendar. He's the leader of our village. But if you if you have time later, maybe you could come back and speak to me again. I don't get much chance to talk with people from the surface. Okay. See the side thing. It's really not that big. Because he later and he don't have as much people who are sick. You have the rack loose now, which we don't have yet. So we'll have to go get that. You! You come from the world above! Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. This guy's weird. Um. A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil. The oldest outcast here in the village. Rukul Wrinklesken, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. 
Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Of course. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. There's a bunch of Sith come here. Come here, right? So what if one of them decided to be like, oh... There's a dead body here. Let's find out. Let's, let's talk to people who live and find out who it is. Then bad things start happening. That's not good. Just like you just can trust who hey, everyone You ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes. You've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. Want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Nope. I'll buy things in this game. That's for Coke Tour too. And I was a good. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The raccoons are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the raccoons are so near! Open the gate, I'll kill all the people! You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. The raccoons aren't even that strong. Like, come on. Oh no, uh, the raccoons. Are gonna kill everyone. Come on, Cart, do something! God! Oh, it hurt, I bet. <laughs> Yes? I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Last time I played through this game, a glitch happened. And somehow I managed to teleport past this wall, and then the, um, I couldn't get back through the gate because this event didn't happen. It, it was just everything was like kind of frozen. Um, Thank you. There. Perhaps we can learn. Goodbye. Please, you have to help me. Oh, there's me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the backs won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Um... Calm down. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. Um... You know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. 
The stink reminds him of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. No way. I'm the one that got Zabar into this mess, so I'm coming with you. I'm not gonna abandon him again. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zabar before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorreans may- You already heard all this. Carthus, are you not paying attention to the conversation? Anyway, you finally have two points. Yeah? So yeah, that's good. Mission's kind of eh, so. Can't hit that. Can I cancel the level up? No, I can't. Um I'm gonna need to this is just really fast. Actually. So you can go mainly with her on ranged weapons. I think I'll go with ranged weapons because you know she comes with her own battle blade, which is pretty good, I think. Let me see how it compares to mine. One in ten. Yeah, it's almost as good as prototype battle blade, except prototype battle blade you can upgrade. So can you upgrade this? Oh, you can. Hmm. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? I should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. So you lost one patrol already? Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Yeah, sure. The commander won't be too happy if you come back empty-handed, right? Well, the same thing goes for us. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant-infested hole. Move out! We lost them this time first. Yeah, we're in the middle. And there's a lot of radicals. Uh huh. Hard to go. Yes? know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? 
Where are your parents? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. You wanna pick a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Um. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. The other, the other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up wind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? How did Zalbar end up on Terrace? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Wee. What? See what mission? Because she told the door. What? Thank you. Bastila? She wasn't in this pod. We lost the signal when our own pod... Over there! I heard something, I know I did. Ready. Also, how did Kark get so low? 
Sure. Yes? Wait, Upwelder. Your offer is general. The villagers infected. Nobody would be fooled. I can't. I. I wish farewell. Wrong. You amazed. That works. Anyway, I think so. Next time, we're gonna go and find out some escape bug and a uh, Google's apprentice. And that person just faked out in existence. Yeah. I guess. See you guys next time.